Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Marissa and I do videos on mental health, psychedelics, animals, and more. Today's video is, in my opinion, do psychedelics help your mental health? Right off the bat, I want to start off by saying by saying yes, I believe psychedelics can help your mental health. Am I right? That's up to you. Do your research. This is my opinion. So, the reason as to why I did 5-Meo DMT is because of the mental health benefits you get from doing it. And that, for me, was about 5 years of therapy in 15 minutes. And if you can tell by my channel, I express a lot of my mental health hiccups, problems, solutions, etc, etc. Let's go back in history as well. Um, you can fact check me. I don't know everything, that's for sure. Back in history when I was doing research on psychedelics, a lot of psychedelics were actually made to help mental health. There's continuous studies on shrooms and stuff like that helping your overall mental health and taking you out of depre depressive states. And just for that reason, that reason only, I, it really sold me, especially since if you really look at it, it's more of a holistic route rather than taking pills. There's antidepressants, there's anti-anxiety pills, there's all these medications for your mental health, whereas a psychedelic is either poison from a frog or a mushroom or ayahuasca, stuff like that um, is like kind of like the holistic route in my little brain. Second reason would definitely be just hands-on experience. I definitely know who I was before 5 Mio DMT and I definitely know who I am after 5 Mio DMT. And overall, I am just two completely different people. Um, it's almost as if the moment I did 5 Mio DMT, I got to hit the reset button on my life and let go of all the chains and let go of all of almost the obligations I felt like I had to keep up with as people held me to be a certain person. I instead just hit the reset button and was like, this is actually the new me and this is who I am and these are the choices I've made and I am making and this is the life I want to live. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. And like, I just keep moving with my life rather than the old Marissa, just really put everything and everyone before her, didn't want to do really anything special with her life um at one point i felt like i just literally lived to take care of a boy which is just crazy now looking back honestly when i look back at journals before i did five me on umt opposed to now they're just two completely different marissas the third way i believe it can help your mental health mental health is if you go in there with an intention so I totally understand being a young 20 year old. I currently think I still am one. <laughs> I'm 25. I don't know if that's still considered a young 20 year old. I think I'm like right in the middle. Anyway, I was in that phase or I'm just getting out of that phase and I totally understand it's like you just want to experience life before you take on motherhood or an intense career or a crazy move across the world I don't know but you just want to try kind of things right in front of you um, but for me I've always been very hesitant about those types of things um, even though I've wanted to do them I'll pull myself back and be like why and I just knew if I was going to do a psychedelic I was going to do it where I was doing it for a reason and I want to get a message out of it I want to take something from it which I think in any psychedelic experience you kind of take anyway um, you kind of don't have a choice so <laughs> for me um, I just believe that as long as you are going in there to find something about yourself you're taking it seriously you are for sure going to take away mental health gains. I also believe you can get mental health tools and help without a psychedelic, but if you are open to them or if you're wanting to experience something, it is called a trip for a reason. You definitely go someplace else and it's like a little roller coaster. The fourth slash another way I believe it helps your mental health is 
We can get trained, especially throughout childhood. Um, there's barriers our parents put on us and our subconscious mind kind of gets made up of who you're supposed to be, how you're supposed to live, yada, 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 your beliefs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Since day one, I have basically been a black sheep forever and always, and I've always questioned everything around me. That is not a shock, but what 5 Mia DMT did for me slash a psychedelic was it almost made me have to look at everything, and I had to have a super open mind, and it like opened me up to just everything, and even when I go into my meditations, like I just feel like I just, you know... Everyone is right and everyone is wrong. It's just the way you choose to look at it. And literally everything is a possibility. And it really just opened that up for me. And I really sometimes sit back. It's weird. Like, I wish I could show you guys the before and after of my personalities. But after, if you watched my life update video, you guys know that now I have my own business and I'm in charge of employees and stuff like that and honest to goodness that all of this practice whether it was 5 Mia DMT or psychedelic or just my continuous meditations after that or just keeping that belief um, it just carries me through certain times um, throughout this whole experience you continuously get tested throughout your life whether it's a bad day at work whether it's a bad day with your significant other, whether it's some family, drama, trauma, whatever, there's this certain platform I've created with my spirituality and my mental health and my meditations and my 5 Mia DMT experience in every experience ever. And I have made this zone where like, I know if I go there, I can find the solution and it's just my place of calming myself down and it's just uh, I love it it's it's something that I I knew I needed like every ounce of my soul was like you need to heal your mental health and prepare for the big world because the world is a harsh place like let's be honest um I've had some crazy bad days where I am just over it and the only thing that has kept me strong and kept me going is when I come back to meditation or I come back to my journal or I come back to my gratitude or I come back to my affirmations or I come back to one of my YouTube videos and I remind myself who I am as a person, what I believe in, what I truly understand about life is that love conquers all as long as you go everything with love in your heart and you surrender everything will be okay it will all be okay the fifth slash another way i truly believe a psychedelic can help your mental health is if you take meditation very seriously before and after i say before because recently in one of my videos someone commented that they believe i had such a great experience on 5 Mia DMT because of how much I meditated beforehand and I honest to goodness truly actually believe that that person was correct. I totally forgot your screen name. I'm so sorry. I actually wish I had this right here but anyway thank you so much for that because I believe you and I think so too obviously <laughs> but there is like a when you first start meditating, there is a almost panic when you're about to break through or when you're about to go to that place. And if you've really meditated for a long time and if you've really been dedicated for a long time, you know exactly what it is. And it's almost just like anything when you are good at a craft and you're just, you get it, you understand it. Meditating is the exact same thing if you just do it over and over. When you're about to do a psychedelic or when you're doing a psychedelic, you know that you have to do that thing too. You just have to let go, surrender, and just be there with it. You can't fight it. You can't go against it. It's just like, just let it happen, basically. My sixth, my sixth reason slash another reason is I believe that if you do a psychedelic, you almost feel this warm, comforting, comforting, comfort, oh my goodness comforting feeling of love it's like someone or the earth or the world is just giving you a warm hug and it makes you believe in love again you feel love 
and I believe if you take that feeling and notion and put it towards other people, places, or things, even people, places, or things that you don't like, you despise, whatever, you get a great outcome out of it because you get what you give and when you learn that unconditional love feeling you know how to tap into it and you know how to give it to people all of a sudden you know how to take it places and you know how to use it with you and it was a great reminder of what unconditional felt like um, as a person that went through trauma abusive relationship all kinds of things I had completely forgotten just what it felt like to be fully loved again. I didn't even know how to love myself at the time. So just feeling that amount of love brought me so many tears of joy and happiness. And ever since then, I just can feel love more. I feel my emotions more. I'm able to give more love. I'm able to accept more love from myself and from others. And I just honestly realized that life was all about love and I continuously keep that. Love is my religion. So those are my quick little reasons slash tips as to why I believe a psychedelic can help those who are open to it with their mental health. I am not a doctor or anyone that can actually say that works, but as you guys know, YouTube is literally just basically for people's opinions this one just happens to be mine there's also a bunch of research behind it so if you want to go do your own research by all means please do so because i think you will be very enlightened to see my holistic approach on antidepressants anti-anxiety all that other fun jazz <laughs>